Hi, this is Anthony from Maestro Music Centers in East Meadow, Long Island. And as you can probably tell, Santa got me a brand new camera for Christmas, which we're in high definition now. It took me a little while to figure out what I was doing because I didn't have a large enough memory card and cables to move the stuff over. Uh, but hopefully now you can see my screen. So when I talk about what I'm going to do, you'll understand uh, and see what I'm pressing. I'm on the uh, fabulous new Lowry Inspire. I love this instrument. It has more rhythm styles than our last generation top of the line. And if you only go back a couple of years, like to a prestige model, it has well over a hundred new rhythm styles that didn't even exist back then. So if you want a lot of features, it has it. Features, sounds, rhythm styles, but it's in a compact little cabinet. So you don't have to have a ton of room in your house. So if you really were looking for a large model for the last few years, and you're in something a little bit older, this would be a great replacement for those. Even some larger top of the line models that we've had this has more. So, um, I'm going to talk today about the famous jazz organ sound. And one of the things that the jazz organist used to use was this Leslie speaker effect, where it was a rotary speaker and it would spin and speed up and slow down. And its, its effect sort of did this. So, fast, slow, fast. So you could control the spinning of the speaker sound as you were using it. And they used to do it with what we call a half moon switch was on the lower keyboard, and they would address it left and right to make the speed happen. Today, technology has improved, so we're going to put it on kick switches. I'm going to show you how to do that. So to get there, I touch feature on the window, and the screen comes up. And I actually have already scrolled, but let's start on page one. So there's page one. And when you don't see what you want, you can use the scroll button. It's actually in the bottom of the screen, it says previous and next. But I'm going to scroll to see what I need, and what I need is foot switches there. So I touch foot switches, and when I do that on the screen, the left switch is set to be glide and sustain, and the right one is set to be a vibra trim and a rotary, which is what I want. So to change them, you would touch the box that you want to modify, and you would scroll. I can turn on the fake it function. That's the like automatic uh, uh, ad-libbing pro thing. It's really, really a cool feature. It's automated on these instruments, so you can just press and hold black keys, and it'll kind of go into a performance mode where it'll do its own thing. A lot of instruments have this feature. They call them like performance pads and stuff. Same idea. Light show. The artists love to use that at the end of, if they're doing God Bless America or something and they want a big finale, you know, they'll have the light show go. It's really pretty. Sound effects. Any sound effects in the instrument. You want to have a, a bell ringing or a bird sound or whatever. Here it's for a bass string slap on the left. <clears throat> Fiber trim rotary. I could put it on both sides if I wanted to. Sostenuto, which will hold the sound that I have currently playing so I can let go of that keyboard and go to the bottom and do something else but keep that sound playing. Really, really incredible feature. Artists use that an awful lot. If you have problems with some complicated chords like diminished and minor and seventh, you can actually just play your one finger chords and use the kick switches to assist you in doing those additional chords. A no chord, which would keep the drums going but kill out the orchestration. We sometimes call that a smash chord in our classes, but uh, you could do it with the kick switch. Have it do nothing in case you were hitting it a lot. Some people have big shoes, wide shoes, wide feet, and they're always kicking those kick switches and they don't want it to do anything, so you can actually make them turn off, basically. Fade in or fade out. Go to intro ending two or intro and ending one, because there are, are two intros and endings on here. <coughs> actually, four. Uh, decrease the tempo, increase the tempo, transpose up or down, auto start stop, start stop, two different functions. We'll talk about that one day. Tap the tempo. Though there was a button right on the screen for that, so that's easy. And fill in, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it on uh, glide and sustain, where it was. All right, so I made the right side rotary so I can use that now to kick back and forth. And I made a preset. So I have right now um, a 16, 8, 5 and a third, and 2 foot organ sound on top with slow. Um, do I do slow or do I do fast? Slow. Vibratrem. I have a um, uh, saxophone here. I forgot which one I was using. Uh, alto dynamic. So it's also touch sensitive. Okay. And uh, I also have on a percuss percussion percussion uh, for the uh, organ, a two and two third percussion. Okay, on the top keyboard. 
Okay. And I have sustain on, I know, so, uh, not sustain, no, reverb. I know some organ purists, uh, a jazz organ, don't like that, but I happen to like, like it. I'm going to use it. I also wanted a little bit of a drum with me, so I'm using the uh, serenade rhythm, which is now under smooth. It's the Glenn Miller Moonlight Serenade pattern. But I have this instrument on drum only, and I'm using the drum variation, and it's really slow, and this is what you get. So it's like kind of brushes and stuff, sort of mellow, okay? Now I will start changing some of the presets while I play. There is a preset on the low, I have on the bottom eight, four, and two turned on, but there's a preset called hollow, which would kind of make a wider sound, leaves the center uh, draw bars, if you will, on a, on, a, on a jazz organ, pressed in, but pulls out the outers. And I'm also, I also have presets now, which is brand new on this model, on the upper, hollow, mellow, pop, and jazz. So I'm gonna go between them. Uh, it modifies the sound that you're hearing, because it'll actually then turn off the eight, 16, 8, 4, and uh, 2, 5, and a third, those, those um, tabs, and go to what's pre-programmed into them. So I have some real nice, quick organ registrations right from the tabs, which you would have had to go before in our old models and scroll through and find them uh, in the sound list, okay? Um, which is going to make this a lot easier. But so listen for the spinning to go as fast and slow, and I'll change a little bit of sound, okay?
that at the end. So I really didn't change sound much. Yeah, a couple times I used presets. I did it only because I now have them. I never had that option before. I would have had to turn on, turn off a lot of things. On a roll and I'd be actually manipulating the draw bars. Um, but these are really easy. It's so simple to do. I just reached up and touched a preset. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you could save you know, new setups for yourself across the numbers. This I actually may save this as setup number 10, but you, know, you can use that. So if you really love that jazzy sound, you can totally get it. I mean, it's so easy to do. Um, and if you wanted more pattern, I mean, that background, I only use a drum. But there are parts to the background. There's a guitar. This is a Glenn Miller sound. There's an alternate version of this rhythm. sound in the left hand too much. Because it gets very heavy. Okay. But I can still have this many going. So a lot of ways to enjoy your new instruments. Um, it has a beautiful can I close the lid a minute for you? It's really lovely. It has like a, a thin and a thick and a thin and a thick and a thin and a thick and a nice clear music rack so it looks smaller than it is. Got some speakers on the side. You can tell I really like it. So, and the screen, it's hard to tell from this, but that screen in front of me is high definition. So it's super clear and crisp and easy to see. Um, I really, uh, it's a nice one. It's a keeper, you know? Um, okay, thanks for watching. Have a great week. It's snowing here in New York. It's been snowing and snowing and snowing. So, bye.